The following is an excerpt from Chapter 2 of the Jim Crow Guide written by Stetson Kennedy in 1959. Quote, Florida, while the political witch hunt was at its peak, saw fit to insert into the state's non-communist loyalty oath required of all public employees, including teachers, the questions... Do you support the race segregation laws in this state? If not, why not? Even Negro teachers had to reply affirmatively or lose their jobs. Unquote. Sounds like they had quite a strict cancel culture back then, didn't they? The Jim Crow Guide also offered these seven rules for black people to follow when talking to white people. Never assert or even intimate that a white person is lying. Never impute dishonorable intentions to a white person. Never suggest that a white person is from an inferior class. Never lay claim to or overly demonstrate superior knowledge or intelligence. Never curse a white person. Never laugh derisively at a white person. And never comment upon the appearance of a white female. There were some serious eggshells people needed to walk on back then. If you think race relations have gotten worse, then it's likely you never had to follow rules like these. 